Hello everyone, this is Kiran here. So now let's see how to create this logo. Start creating a new layer. Let's create a ellipse. If you use shift and drag, it will create a perfect circle. Just use transform tool and arrange according to the size of the image. Create a rectangle tool. Use shift and drag, you will get a perfect square. Now we need a rectangle. So just create and drag. Select both the shapes. And now I'm going to use a new tool called Shape Builder Tool. What is the use of Shape Builder Tool is it will combine the two shapes and will give you a new shape. I have selected the circle as well as the rectangle shape. Shortcut for uh, Shape Builder Tool is Shift M. Click and drag. Both shapes got merged and we got the shape. Keep that aside. Now let's jump back to the second shape. It is a triangle one. Can you see there? So the triangle has three sides. We have four sides. We, we, we need just a three side. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use a new tool called delete anchor point, which is below the pen tool. Use delete anchor point. Use the point selection tool. Place it over there. Can you see there? You got the triangle shape. Keep that aside. Using pen tool, we are going to create this shape. I will take a separate video about pen tool with some difficult shapes. Let's see how to create this shape. Go to pen tool. We, we have to just click and drag. We got the curve. Now we have to break these tangents. Just use alt and click. You will break the tangent. Use shift and click you will get a straight line again shift and click again shift and click you will get a straight line click and drag alt break the tangent use alt and break the tangent join with the triangle shape now select both the shapes use the shape builder tool again click and drag the unwanted area if you see there the unwanted area is being deleted we have to choose the color there are two options you can use the color palette option or else there is a second option color picker tool eyedropper the shortcut is i just click you will get the color it's a point selection tool to select the two points over there i'm going to use a new tool called a pathfinder we will see about that briefly later now let's see what is the use of the pathfinder you have to select the two shapes arrow one and the circle one select those two shapes the right side there is an option called pathfinder use shape mode select the second option it's called minus if you select that one can you see there in two shapes one shape got minus and you got a new shape keep it aside now we need a background shape create a rectangle click and drag use eyedropper now you can use also a color palette, anything you want. The eyedropper shortcut is I. Keep this aside. Use the eyedropper. Pick the color. If you see there, it's not visible because it is back side of the rectangle shape. What you have to do is right click, arrange, bring to front. Boom, we got the logo. I know this is not the beginner's level video. I just shared my tips and tricks to trace a logo as soon as possible using these tools. I hope this video is helpful for you. Let's catch up in the next video. Thank you. Peace.